Hawaii is embarking on a colossal $10 billion project that could redefine transportation on the islands. The Honolulu Rail Transit, or Skyline, aims to tackle the notorious traffic congestion that plagues Oahu, where the daily commute can feel like an endless crawl through paradise. This ambitious plan features a 30-kilometer elevated rail line promising to cut travel times in half and remove 40,000 cars from the roads each day. But the journey to this point has been anything but smooth, doubling its original budget and facing a slew of engineering challenges, the project has tested the limits of modern construction. The first fully autonomous rail system in the US, Skyline Sleek Trains will guide above the island's diverse terrain, offering a futuristic solution to a very present problem. Yet, with 40% of the project still to be completed, one question remains. How can Hawaii's new rail system overcome these construction challenges and deliver on its promise? Hawaii is renowned for its breathtaking landscapes, but navigating these paradise islands can be a significant challenge. Picture a map of Oahu. If you look at the journey from the bustling heart of Honolulu to the serene suburbs, it seems straightforward. But in reality, getting from point A to point B can be a nightmare. The island's infrastructure struggles to keep up with the demands of its residents and the constant influx of tourists. Take the infamous H1 Freeway, the main artery that slices through Honolulu. During peak hours, it transforms into a sea of cars, barely moving. Commuters can spend hours crawling through traffic, dealing with bottlenecks at every on-ramp. The congestion isn't just a Honolulu problem. Over on Maui, the road to Hana is often clogged with cars, both local and rental, especially after pandemic-era travel restrictions were lifted. Meanwhile, on the Big Island, poor road maintenance led to the shutdown of the heavily used YPO Valley Road. The existing public transport system, primarily buses, gets stuck in the same traffic jams. And while the scenic drives offer epic views, the daily grind of congestion, high gas prices, and poor road conditions take a toll on everyone. Hawaii's infrastructure, originally built for a smaller population, now faces the demands of a 21st century island state. Enter the Honolulu Rail Transit Project, an ambitious $10 billion initiative designed to transform transportation across Oahu. Known as the Skyline, this fully autonomous mass transit system promises to alleviate congestion and provide a faster, more reliable alternative to the current chaotic commutes. Initially projected to cost $5 billion and to be completed by 2020, the project has faced numerous setbacks, including doubling its budget and extending its timeline. This project aims to revolutionize transportation on the island, However, constructing such a complex system in Hawaii's unique environment presents numerous challenges. Let's start by tracing the path of the skyline. The rail line begins in East Kapolei, a rapidly growing suburban area. From there, it travels westward through the communities of Iwa and Waipahu, following the path of the H1 freeway but elevated above the traffic chaos below. The line continues through Pearl City, over the Pearl Harbor area, and finally reaches downtown Honolulu. This route was chosen to connect key residential areas with major employment centers, reducing traffic congestion on the island's busiest roads. Given Hawaii's diverse topography, an elevated rail system was deemed the most practical solution. The elevated design allows the rail to navigate over the varied landscape, avoiding the need for extensive tunneling or disrupting existing infrastructure. The elevated tracks are supported by a series of precast concrete segmental bridges. Each segment weighs around 50 tons and is connected using a specialized construction technique. The construction process involves a twin unslung girder system, a type of trolley that moves along parallel beams, carrying the heavy concrete segments. These segments are lifted using cranes and precisely aligned before being bonded together with high-strength adhesives. 
This method ensures that the segments fit together seamlessly, creating a smooth and stable track for the trains. One of the primary challenges was constructing the rail system over busy urban areas without causing major disruptions. To tackle this, engineers use a method called segmental launching, where each section of the bridge is built and extended incrementally. This technique minimizes the need for extensive road closures and allows construction to progress with minimal impact on daily traffic. The Skyline will feature 19 stations, each designed to be accessible and user-friendly. These stations are strategically located to serve key residential, commercial and industrial areas. They are equipped with modern amenities, including elevators, escalators and real-time information displays. Each station has been designed to blend with the local architecture and landscape, maintaining the aesthetic appeal of the island. The elevated design also allows for the construction of additional infrastructure beneath the tracks. This includes pedestrian walkways, bike lanes and even green spaces. By utilizing the space beneath the elevated tracks, the project aims to enhance urban mobility and create more livable communities. The Honolulu Rail Transit System is the first fully autonomous and driverless mass transit system in the United States. This cutting-edge technology eliminates the need for human operators, reducing the risk of accidents caused by human error. The trains are controlled by a central system that monitors and adjusts speeds, braking and route alignment in real time. Building a rail system in Hawaii's unique environment comes with specific engineering challenges. The island's location in the Pacific means it is susceptible to natural disasters like earthquakes and hurricanes. To address this, Skyline's infrastructure has been designed to withstand these events. The concrete segments are reinforced with steel, and the elevated structures are built to flex and absorb seismic energy. During construction, engineers encountered several structural issues. For example, cracks were discovered in some of the hammerhead piers that support the elevated tracks. These cracks were initially thought to be due to concrete shrinkage, but continued to expand over time. To fix this, workers used epoxy injections and installed horizontal cabling to prevent further moisture from entering the cracks. This solution ensured the integrity and longevity of the piers. Relocating electrical lines posed another significant challenge. A portion of the tracks ran too close to existing power lines, necessitating the relocation of these lines at a substantial cost. Additionally, issues with the train wheels were discovered during testing. Some wheels were found to be too narrow for parts of the track where lines crossed. The initial solution was to use temporary welds to fill the gap, but this was later replaced with a more permanent fix. The construction of the skyline also took environmental concerns into account. Hawaii's delicate ecosystems require careful planning to minimize the impact on local wildlife and vegetation. Construction crews worked closely with the environmental experts to ensure that the project adhered to strict environmental regulations. Efforts were made to protect native species and restore any habitats that were disrupted during construction. Building the skyline has been a complex task. Despite these challenges, the first segment of the rail system finally opened in June 2023, marking a significant milestone. The new rail system promises to be a game changer for commuters. The trains are designed to travel at an average speed of 48 kilometers per hour, significantly reducing travel times across the island. For instance, the commute from Kapolei to downtown Honolulu, which can take over an hour by car during peak traffic, will be cut down to just 30 minutes by rail. This efficiency is expected to remove 40,000 cars from the roads daily, easing traffic congestion and reducing carbon emissions. The current plan includes 19 stations, but there are already proposals for future extensions. These would add two more stations and extend the rail line further into key areas, providing even more comprehensive coverage. This phased approach allows for flexibility and adaptation based on future needs and population growth. Despite the numerous hurdles and setbacks, the project is poised to transform how people move around Oahu. The construction of the skyline has had a significant impact on local communities. While the project initially faced opposition and skepticism, the opening of the first segment has started to change perceptions. 
the rail system offers a new level of convenience and accessibility, particularly for those who rely on public transportation. It also presents opportunities for transit-oriented development, encouraging more sustainable urban growth. Despite the numerous hurdles and setbacks, the project is poised to transform how people move around Oahu, providing a faster, more efficient alternative to the congested roads. But with about 40% of the project still incomplete, many are left wondering, can Hawaii's new rail system deliver on its promise and transform transportation on the islands? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more updates on this and other fascinating projects.